Jump Love is a Pokemon that got introduced all the way back in Generation 2 and is one of the worst fully evolved Pokemon ever in competitive, usually ending up in a very low tier or untiered in competitive singles, though it did have its moments in the U tier in earlier generations. While Jump Bluff is overall considered a very bad Pokemon, it actually had a niche in the tier where the strongest Pokemon and all the broken legendaries roam around freely, this being the Gen 4 Ubers tier. You thought Parasect having a niche was unbelievable? Well, enter Jump Bluff. So what was Jump Bluff's niche in Gen 4 Ubers? Jump Bluff's stats are very bad. It does have a very nice 110 base speed stat, but that's really it. It really has nothing else going for it, as both its offenses and bulk are very lacking. However, Jump Bluff only needs speed for it to find a niche in the Gen 4 Uber Steer. However, its base 110 speed stat was not fast enough, so Game Freak decided to give it the ability Chlorophyll, doubling its speed stat when Sun is up. This gave it a niche on Sun teams with Groudon, making it the fastest Pokemon in the tier that is even capable of outspeeding Deoxys Speed and fast choice card for users like Darkrai. Jump Love is not your typical Chlorophyll user however. Most Pokemon with this ability aim to take advantage of the double speed to create wall breaking or sweeping opportunities like Shift 3 which is another niche option that I made a video about a couple days ago. Jump Love does not do that, as its offensive stats are garbage. Jump Love's sole purpose is to be as annoying as possible for the opponent. Jump Love's incredible speed on the sun makes it the fastest status spreader in the tier, capable of spreading status moves like Sleep Powder, Stun Spore, Toxic, Encore, Memento and Lead Sheet, and being able to stun the opponent with moves like Protect and Substitute. It's a very simple yet annoying strategy and goes something like this. You get Jump Love on the field when sun is up, activating its ability. You sleep powder the first turn and pray you don't miss. Friendly reminder that before gen 6, grass types were not immune to sleep powder. With your opponent asleep, you can go for a free substitute followed by lead sheet. This is especially annoying if you also have hazards up. That's pretty much it. You repeat going for sub and lead sheet and can throw in an encore as well to be even more annoying. You can even switch into a predicted earthquake from a Pokemon like Groudon or Garchomp and encore them. On a sub seed set, Bounce can be used as well to stall out more turns with Lead Seed and has a good chance to paralyze, though you are vulnerable after using it. While Grass types are good counters to sub seed sets, they don't like taking Sleep Power. Grass types are also not that common in Ubers anyway. This set causes some problems for the opponent as the chip damage from Lead Seed and Hazards really adds up. Not to mention that outside of Deoxys Speed with a Choice Scarf, Nothing can outspeed Jump Love on the sun. By the way, if you are enjoying the video so far and want to see more content like this, let me know by liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you. There is one big problem that you might face with the sub seat set, and that is Sleep Claws. Not to worry though, as you can opt to use Stun Spore in combination with Sleep Power on a double status set. Now you can freely go for Stun Spore on the rest of the team, spreading paralysis and crippling the opponent's team. U-turn can be used to get a free switch against your opponent switching around and easing prediction. Not to mention that while you are stalling, you are gaining HP with leftovers as well. Jump Bluff can also provide unique team support with moves like Memento and Reflect. Jump Bluff can easily set up a Reflect and provide itself and its teammates with a damage reduction against physical attacks. Memento is there to help a teammate by giving it a free switch and opportunity to set up a sweep especially if the opponent is also under the influence of Sleep or Encore. Encore is also a nice option to punish Pokemon that might use Jump Love or Setup Father. Reflect can also be dropped for another move like Toxic or Lead Sheet, as this is mostly a filler move. And on this set, Leftovers can be used or dropped for another item like Lumberry to avoid a Dark Void from Darkfire or, Thun or Thunderwave from Kyogre. Light Clay can also be used to increase the duration of Reflect or Focus Sash to avoid a 1 hit KO. Overall, Jump Bluff is a niche status spreader and subseed staller on Sun teams with Groudon and can be a very annoying Pokemon to face for unprepared teams. Jump Bluff is still Jump Bluff though, so outside of its speed, it's not doing any direct damage or tanking hits all that well. It's also very reliant on Sun, 
so weather changers like Kyoko and Tyranitar can be annoying for it, though Jumpluff is still very fast outside of sun. Let me know in the comments what you think of Jumpluff's niche in Gen 4 Ubers, and check out my video on Quillfish's niche in Gen 4 and Gen 5 Ubers if you haven't already, and also check out the playlist. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.